Hello everyone, this is Hinokan and today we are continuing on the next part of The Invincible. Now if my voice sounds a little off, we've not only upgraded a bunch of equipment, but also videos were lacking because between the holidays and me getting a very severe case of COVID, I have been gone for a little bit. But if you join the Discord, you'll usually get updates to what I'm up to and stuff. So if, if you haven't joined the Discord, do so. But that said, if I sound a little bit off in this episode, it's because I'm trying to get back to the swing of things. So that said, let's get to it. All right. I should. I'm leaving the base. Going after the convoy. There you heard it. The last place we left off was we were looking to find where this entire camp that convoy disappeared to. And she was singing this song last time, too. Okay, kind of like last time whenever she's talking or singing or anything, I'm pretty much going to be quiet so we can... Oh, we got a blinker or a indicator there. Huh? Where have you gone, buddy? Astrogator, one of the robots moved away from the perimeter. Huh. It stands all by itself on a distant hill. It's active, I guess. Doesn't it know how to get back? Do you think it's worth investigating? I, I guess everything's worth investigating now. Yeah. I was about to say, like, we're here to find out what's happening, so... And I... I can drive up to it, right? Oh, it looks like there's a bit more... Camp over here? Driven into a side location. They were very active here too. Obtaining research material huh. from the walls surrounding the valley. Might be worth a stop to look at. Yeah, let's do it. Cutting out blocks of rock. Were they performing geological research? There's only one way to find out. We'll go ahead and park it right here. Um, so there's no more beacons around here. Objects. Solid, metal, sharp-edged lumps. <sighs> Is that all you've got to say? Is hmm. Still gonna go over there and visit our robot buddy. Looks like just scrap around here. Go look at one of these other rocks that they actually pulled out. Let's see if there's anything here. No. So this seems to be the only things uh, here to look at right now, I guess. Can't go inside of here, can we? No. I'm still okay. here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Are we? You have been very fishy, Doctor. 
Wait. Can I take the rover up there? No, apparently not. Alright, how do I get to our little robot friend? Gotta be a road or something to get up to him. I might have to go up there manually. Also, we'll have to drive through that other camp to, um... There was another... Uh, exits around the side, I guess. Okay. Uh, Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this robot up here has for us. Attention. Human in danger. Attention. Oh. Help needed. Uh. It's broadcasting a message. One of their people is in trouble. Sounds suspicious. Did they go away and leave someone behind? Doesn't add up. Robot, do you understand me? He's not responding. The robots are called Arctans. Ah. Oh. Arctan, <laughs> do you understand me? Arctan, answer me. Over. I confirm. Over. Oh, you can talk to them after all. Okay. Arctan, tell me what the danger is. Attention. Human in danger. So much for the conversation. Arctan, go to Arctan. Lead to the human in danger. <laughs> Gotta love that. Setting himself up to where he's going. Okay, Heart 10. What are we looking for here, bud? Only thing about these kind of, um, these games, to this day, I don't understand, like, your character always even in the slightest walks faster than the NPC or whoever you are leading or trying to follow so you have to keep stopping so you don't go past them. Such an old, old thing but still so common in so many games. Either way, curious to see who we find here because as far as I know everyone on that convoy expedition thing, they're just gone. No trace. Oh, I see a flag. Statement. What's new? Well, nothing, really. Oh. At least not in the last one. Hey, uh... Arc 10. I got some bad news, buddy. In danger is, uh... Astrogator. Uh... I can't help this man anymore. He died a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly long. Um. What do we got here? Get up, eggs and bacon. Today, the command woke us up and called us for an off scheduled rally. For most of the astrogator's speech, I did my best not to lose attention. I took note of the change of plans, that is, landing on some brevis or resis. Anyway, what do I have to say? I'll be home later than sooner, and that's it. Well, but then, when the command explained something else, my stomach twisted and I started thinking only about breakfast. Eggs with bacon. 
Not a kingdom, but an entire star constellation for bacon and eggs. What? <laughs> okay. Remember Regis III. Bloated like a helium balloon, the chamber serviceman, whose name I have deliberately forgotten, instructed me between the lines that we were to land on a planet called Regis. Precisely Regis III. Three. Three. Four days before landing, Caesar is entries. I wanted to take the guys from the control room against the grain and I brought up the subject of our landing on this Regis. I asked for their opinion and that's it. I took the rap. I got caught up in the stream of grudges they have against the mechanics as if we were responsible for every fault in the history of the Condor flights. Condor flights? Three days before landing. According to the probe data, Regis is mostly wasteland, so I'm not surprised that we have so many volunteers. Why is he yelling certain parts? Or stressing? Volunteers willing to repair this screwed up drive. First of all, any job is better than staring at a blind spot. Secondly, when you do something, you have to at least have the impression of impacting anything. Okay. Two days before landing. Yeah, no surprise. I didn't get into the noble group of repairers. I don't even, I don't want to cite the arguments of the command. I know my qualifications, but I'll be doing what I can on Regis 3. Which is counting the god dang grains of sand. One, two, a million, blah blah. Two days before landing. As soon as I return, I report readiness to change the unit. Maybe for something smaller. Never mind. It's already decided. One day before landing. They checked that Rages 3. There couldn't be a worse place to stop. There's nothing here. Literally. You could drink yourself to death out of boredom. Our people were a little taken aback by or even surprised. They are now sitting and talking. Landing day. Here we are. The command sent a signal to headquarters, like, Landing on Regis 3 completed. A type of sub-Delta 92 desert planet. We are making landfall on this second equilateral procedure. Or actually, <laughs> equatorial procedure. I hope we won't be here for too long. Well, got news for you, bud. You're gonna be here. <laughs> you were here for a while. Okay. First day on Regis 3. Scientists say that the composition of the atmosphere here allows you to breathe quite easily. Quite easily. Without a helmet. But just not for too long. An hour. Maximum of you. So exactly how many? If I had performed estimations in my task this way, we would have fallen to pieces a long time ago. This is true. Third day on Regis 3. This repair has been taking them long, so the scientists started drilling in the ground to examine this and that. After all, no one will forbid us. And a man is able to do a lot for a sense of agency, right? Fifth day on Regis. I overheard two of our guys talking about resources today. One calmed down the other, the one who always spreads panic in the crew. I drew a conclusion for myself from this, and it's quite positive. With our water and food supplies, we certainly won't starve to death here. That means I'm pretty sure I'll be able to leave Regis 3 before we've used up less than half of our pantry. Hmm. Again. Ah. <laughs> Another day on Regis 3. Once there was life, but not anymore. They drilled successfully. They found some remains, probably reptiles, whose bones, what a twist of fate, raised many questions for our crew. And apparently, there are also strong radiation spots here. Scientists don't know why, so things got tense. And another day on Regis 3. Why did life die on Regis? These thesis and hypothesis guys usually don't tell us the mechanical gusts. 
much or much but we also usually ask little in the name of principle not our business today however we all as one man are waiting for the convoy sent in the morning to return with answers we are waiting so far we've got nothing our biologists also went into this convoy a very factual and kind man we call each other by name his dog is named Pegasus, and this man approaches everything, literally everything, with such, I don't know how to say it, sympathy, empathy. Okay. Sixteenth day on Regis 3. They called back. The command is already telling everyone, including me, very openly and directly that something is not quite right with this place, and it needs to be examined. Right on time, dang it, right on time. They're transferring the team that went to the water to a new place. I'm starting another round tomorrow. They take a lot of heavy equipment and suddenly they realize they needed a decent mechanic. 16th day on Regis 3, afternoon. An order is an order. They said you have to fly, but I also want to, I want to, oh, I guess he was questioning himself, then he said I want to. 18th day on Regis. The saucer fell to the ground yesterday. I am injured. It seems quite badly. My freaking hardware is falling. It's failing. And I have no way to send an SOS. It's dang hot. I am writing this to... <laughs> day on Regis someday. Who am I writing this for anyway? Oh, that's not good. Third day after the accident. They're looking for me. My people are looking for me. I'm part of the crew, and the crew doesn't leave anyone behind. Not a single member. It won't be easy for them because of the current state of communication, or rather with the constant lack of it. So it will be like looking for a grain of steel and oceans of screeching. But they promised they would look for me. The fourth day after the accident. I can't sit around and wait for death to find me first. I have to move from here. I met a friend. I mean, he met me. He will help me. I don't know if I'll survive in the end, but at least I'll try. The sixth day after the accident. I lie down exhausted and talk to the robot. No, I mean, I'm resting and talking to a friend. Self-motivation as they taught us in training. Another day on Regis 3. My friend and I are making significant progress on Regis, although we are moving very slowly due to my broken bone. But, for example, today we found the best use for abandoned military machinery you can possibly imagine. An anti-mat turned out to be an excellent shelter from the night downpour. Huh. It rains here? And another day on Regis 3. Man adapts to new conditions so surprisingly quickly. Now that I look at myself, I think that's our greatest evolutionary advantage. Scientists would probably applaud me. Pain, suffering, difficulties, handicaps, wars, cataclysms, or the specter of death on our shoulders. At first, it scares us, breaks us down, and before we know it, it becomes our bread and butter. <laughs> Regis 3. I will die here. Not that I'm giving up or losing hope. I'm realistic about the situation. I don't blame this place. Nobody invited us here. Oh. Here, Regis, here, Regis 3. A few days ago, I saw or thought I saw signs of an irrational struggle. Explosions in the distance, which is a very clear sign that our people are here. We have entered the eye of the cyclone, and now we are shooting at it with a cannon. Florida? No. The best at his job. I imagine if I was given another life, another chance, or a little more time... I'd be fixing, but not rockets or weapons. I would fix my own and others' mistakes with my tin friend. 
Maybe these worlds would work a little better. Then I'd be a really good mechanic. Somewhere on Regis 3. Hypothesis, opinions, and questions. So much for the people I knew. The remains of conclusions. Some nervous sketches lie like them scattered on the sand. I have no strength to collect them today. Wait, he found his people? They were like torn apart all over the place. Is this repeating? One death. Once bloated as a helium balloon, the chamber service man, whose name I have deliberately forgotten, now lies a few meters away from me. He got smaller, shrunk, darkened. I'm staring at this small shriveled body, trying to see my companion, and I'm honestly trying to remember his name, but I simply can't. Theft? My friend and I found more bodies today. I looked through the inventory of people I knew with great distaste. Turns out, you can get used to it after all. Hmm. I don't know what day it is on Regis 3. My headache and nausea didn't let me sleep today. My friend arranged the science guy's notes. Still, if anyone is ever going to find us, I'd like us to be more than bones and chewed up soap. Ah! Jasper? Everything's alright? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. I found his journal. Anything of importance in there? Hmm. Let's find out. Someone survived. Among the sick and the bodies that my friend and I found, there is no biologist whom I called by his first name. I'm glad. I imagine that the dog Pegasus is also very happy when his master appears at the front door of the house. 35. We are the ones to blame, no one else. Hot meal day? The first in the weeks. Eggs and bacon were waiting for me in the storm damaged shack. Fried eggs and bacon. I can die. I don't want to, even though I'm already very tired. But I can. Contact. There's hope. We made contact. One of our crew members, a mechanic guy, is alive. He is safe and sound, ready to get us out of here. If I understand correctly, he built or found some kind of shelter. I don't know if my friend will be able to transfer me. He needs minor repairs himself. All these days made their presence known, and they gave him a rusty time. I'll take care of him as soon as we're safe. We will try. Huh. Then why are you here? I had some personal notes. N nothing useful to us. So you're not going to mention the thing about the explosions and stuff? Well. Mr. Robot? I'm sorry for your loss. Huh. But that's still him. Okay. Anything on the telemetry? Nope. Tracker, at least nothing of anything of note. Nope. <sighs> this mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Well, that's good to know. Because we are... We need to go that way. Now. As soon as I get back to the rover. As far as I know, there's nothing else for me over there. That's a cool rock formation. Let's not fall off the cliff while I'm looking... Not looking behind me. Okay.
Uh, oh, back over here. Oh, well, no, I'm stuck. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Whoo. How about right off the edge? Yeah, I mean, probably all this running around, but at least we have the rover, so that'll make things a little bit easier. Okay. It's through here. No, wait. This isn't the same way we just came through, is it? I'm going to feel really goofy if it is. Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay. One step at a time, Yasna. One step at a time. Was I supposed to maybe continue to go up there with the robots? Let's see. Okay, so that just took me back around the camp, which is where I would have gone originally, because I came through here, and that's where I saw the robot. Yeah. Wait. What? It landed near the excavation site. Don't risk trying to fly it, Yasna. Nothing guarantees it works. I didn't even... <sighs> Contrary to what you believe, sir, I don't have a death wish. Yeah, seriously, but still. It's a flying saucer. Uh... I climb up there and see... That's freaking cool, though. I want a, I want a flying saucer. Get out of traffic with this thing. It's a four-seater. Today's economy. This is probably what a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. <laughs> uh, is there anything for me to collect on it, though? Looks in pretty good shape. I try to fly it. But again. Yes, no, focus. Flying saucer. What now? Uh, don't tell me to focus. I'm having a nerdy moment. I guess we're gonna go through there, Yasna. Okay. Let's continue. As far as I know, this is the only way to go. Oh. Yeah, it's some bigger machinery here. I guess this is kind of what he was talking about. Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. Yep. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. The Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My oh. opinion, 
sounds a bit excessive. That sounds impressive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. He's not wrong. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger <laughs> than ours. Jeez. So angry. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Oh. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one, similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. Well. There's definitely something mechanical in nature. Anything else to see around here? Save for the balloon that keeps looking at me. Well, I can't do anything with these cranes. I think there's many there's much more to look at unless we can go in a huh oh, the ambient noises catch me off guard sometimes I'm still here if you're wondering sir is there anything in here yeah. two modules were placed nearby the first one looks residential hey It's a, it's a game. Oh, ping instead of pong. Now how far to that convoy? Uh, not far. Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. Yeah, definitely just some stops. Totally not wasting time. Okay. There we go. We should leave that. Uh, I'm sure there was nothing in here anymore. Nothing else now. Let's see what this residential unit looks like. Oh, I'll have to go through the um, this one, won't I? Okay. The second one is a mobile laboratory. Anything in the driver's seats? No. Anything in here? Proof or oh? They excavated a lot of different objects in terms of shape and size. Huh. Okay. Wow, someone likes their smokes. Okay. So nothing up here for me to take or use. No. Okay. Let's continue. See what else we have. Ah, 
I know Yana. Been quite the adventure. And it's not over yet. Ooh, that dip. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Okay. Get out here real fast to get a look at this crossroads. What I think is crossroads. Okay. They're not, they're just... Just parts of the land that's been dug out. Let's go ahead and continue up the mountain. Or up the trail. At least that's where I think we need to go. It's the only place I can think to go. Yeah. Yes, this is the road. I think. Status? What's new? Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five seconds, huh? Right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is definitely not a road. So. Let's go ahead and continue. Unless, should we try to get out here and see if there's anything up there? I'll turn around first. Then we will. Okay. Let's get out and see. Ooh. Nothing else. Maybe we'll get a view. If this is even something we can climb up on. Uh, it's not. It's an invisible wall. Okay. Oh. We're inside that, uh, one of these cool formations, though. That's neat. Alright, well then we'll go up along the other side. Where the rover gets a speed this boost. mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Sometimes I think we forget what we've just said to each other numerous times. Right. Oh, are we not even supposed to be up here on this on this ridge? Was the road did the road go around? Huh. Yeah. I think I was supposed to go around with the down or down there where the big tread tracks are. So we don't back off the cliff. Okay. Well, let's go back down and then we'll continue our journey from down there. Although taking some time to appreciate this landscape is it's not bad. Not a bad thing to do. We can go over here and get a look at this thing, though. Don't drive off the edge. Okay. Oh, let's go and go all the way back down. Then we'll see what we can find. So would it be around the, through there? I'm assuming the answer is going to be yes. Good gosh, look at that. We fed right inside of these tread marks. That's amazing. That is a big machine. Well, this looks like another way to go about where we're going. One step at a time, yes, now. One step at a time. Uh, I should have used my um, my tracker back there, but 
I don't think there was necessarily anything to actually find. Although the plot of what's going on around here is getting more interesting. Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count yeah. on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. Okay. Let's go and get to this observation point that she saw. Uh, I think I can get to it from right over here. Yeah. Don't even have to climb. Okay. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No. No. I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? Oh. I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Jasper. I mean... As of right now, the convoy is done. Uh, actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Yeah, considering... Like, everyone is pretty much guaranteed to be gone. Judging by our friend's body from back there and his notes, there's not much to hide from. This convoy is very well and truly... Something horrible happened. So we're just going to continue straight. Normally I'm all about the, the like sneaky covert options, but I'm nearing the oh. destination. From now on I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Uh, actually Aww. I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. Oh, yeah. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation of other people. Just one of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Huh. Can I drive this? I don't like the fact of the radiation though. Maybe I should have took the side path. Oh. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. Uh, uh, hmm. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, oh. someone's here. So that was the side path. Wait. Oh. Oh. No. oh. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. 
Yeah. Yeah. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed them? Just what the hell? I mean... Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Yeah, I think I will. Give me this. Okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. Yeah, I definitely want to know what happened. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. Uh, let's get against uh, some sand here so we get a better view. Okay. Coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Yes. In that case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The convoy is heading somewhere. I was there! It's the location with the giant cranes. Right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. That's... Interesting. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Well, I think I'm standing near it. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. In that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Well, yeah, because then we can finally figure out what they were looking for. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at... An instrument, some sort of meter. The photo is such poor quality, you can clearly see the fear on his face. Next slide people rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering when you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing. But also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. Huh. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, if not for our link. You help me keep it together, sir. The antimat has fired straight into the tunnel. And what happened next? There's nothing else. Only darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming for? The machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Uh, 
Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? Oh. There's also a second Antimat. It's shooting into the air. Ah, uh, the odds of that is very low. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Whoa. Shooting them. One by one. Yeah, it looks like it's taking them out pretty good. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. We just three doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagship. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. <laughs> to infinity and beyond? Oh, that's a horrible comparison. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Uh, pretty sure that did not save them. Hiding from it made no difference. Nope. One man has raised his hands in surrender. I don't know if that's going to save him. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. And there's his answer. It killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? Uh. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Uh, right. Uh. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, Yasna. Proceed. I'm assuming... Yeah, it's got to be this tunnel. Oh, wow, that anti-mat did a dumber on that one. Okay. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Oh, for it. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Ah. I got out. Walt, inside a cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh, what is happening to my... Feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasta. You need to rest. The whole still for a second. Okay. No. No. I'm better now. All right. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Coming boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. 
sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Oh. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Oh, it's definitely not going to stop. Uh, let's see if we can do something about the music though, because... There's times when they're talking and their speech is kind of interrupted by the music. Now we'll leave that as is because then I'll have to change the mixing later. Hopefully that makes their dialogue a little better in between those tense scenes, I guess you could call them. Oh, can I use the, the grabber? So what can you do about getting that there container? Uh, unless, unless I go further into here. Jeez. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes. More metal. A metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue like alloy. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, well. all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Well, all right. Can you please check them, yes, sir? I am gone. Do you have anything specific in mind? If it's all oh. metal, then I'll use the detector. Right. Hello, yet another skeletal person. Oh yeah, you sounded crunchy. Well. This I'm thing checking. here. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Oh. Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's looks like two generations. One old dead a relic. Second, these bushes oh, grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, mm. organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing... Is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes. It's true. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. 
Shit. Uh oh. I can't handle it anymore. This isn't good. What? Oh, don't take the helmet off. Alright, get up. The robot disappeared. It must have broken its loop. I didn't. Uh, it must have done something. Never I ran into it blindly. But first of all, get out of there now. Uh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. I'm waiting to see an antimatter beam. Decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Yeah, all things considered, you really didn't mess up. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Oh, it's cooled down. Well, I mean, cooled is a, is a term for it. That's probably not that cool. Hey, look, this right here. A screenshot or that's thumbnail material almost this might be the thumbnail i don't know yet we'll find out but first yeah let's go through actually the scene with the factors. i would assume everyone in the convoy is dead if there's anything more to learn it's from the recording devices the first anti-map told us a lot the second one is destroyed you spoke about the probe should be a valuable source of information and the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Well, there's just a rover. I was going to say, or the uh, the scene with um, the anti mat cannon. That might be a thumbnail. At 
Actually, it's right in front of me. Huh. Should I go in there? As well? No. Alright, let's get that data recorder. Checking his surroundings. All right, well. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. Yes, we're passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, th there's more. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Face, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay, uh, and then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that, but The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as oh. coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> But why? why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, uh -huh. field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. 
It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't... They won't remember anything. Even language. Their past, oh, our voyages together. Let's face it. This new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children. Walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats. All that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Well. Yeah. You're not looking too good, are you, bud? I wonder if I can, if I can get him out, can I free the rover? ATR-12. No, it would have been cool to have it. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Huh. Oh. Not gonna mention the bushes are growing bushes out of it. already protrude from the holes. Huh. I don't get it. Those bushes again. And here I thought it was all coming together. Okay. I still don't think we know the whole picture. Maybe if I look inside the transporter, I can find out more. And we're going to try. Any pilots this time in the seats? No. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Oh. And the robot. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! Oh. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Well, absurdity is reality right now. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well... Look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, 
Do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? I mean, at this point, yeah. Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source. And so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. Well, I mean, look at what's coming off the bushes. Corroded shut. Cool. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. Oh, so that's far, running. I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Ooh, can I drive it? It certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful mm -hmm. emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, oh. got it. Oh. Let's see. Ah. Let's see what he means. Alright, well. That doesn't mean I can just walk in there, right? I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. That well, looks like it's around the side, so... Is this where we're going? Over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, my tracker picked up that body. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's not fall down the... Crevice here. Oh, crevasse, if you want to say it that way. Alright, Yana, let's see what we're dealing with. I should move. I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or we'll just ended up here by pure luck. Luck oh, it's indeed. A picture of me. This registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. <sighs> Come here, little probie. Hey, oh, that didn't work. Come to me, probe. Come. Is it scared of you too? Yeah. 
I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Anodo bot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? Yeah. How about I act according to my judgment? And you patiently await my request for help, sir. Uh, we can do that too. You're right, yes, sir. You're there. You make the decision. Thank you, sir. Decision one, how do I get into the transport? Here. Ah, hello, bot. Oh, I was like, what's happening? And actually, oh, I had to turn the mouse. Field power. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Yeah. All that's left is to get the flies out. Uh, just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. What we got? Oh, that was a weird port. Hey, what? No. I want to go in here. See what I'm looking at. I guess there's nothing to see in here. I'm just. I just walked into the power cord just to walk into here. Oh. No, can't use that. Well. Working controller, do we? Send shivers down your spine. Bitten oh, glove. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves, yet unable to do so. This one man, he even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Jeez. Oh boy, I had it hard. All right, well, now to find how to get into this thing. Also, you talked about a working controller. Well, that'll probably come later. Huh? Wait a minute. What is this? Other. Oh. Okay. So we got him, but no controller. Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Got yeah, that figured out. Alright, so there's no other cool things to find around here. Let's go ahead and get into the transport. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Yeah, I'm trying to. Before you leave, though. No animation. 
Alright, let's find out. That closed the main door. Uh, all good. I hope. Will Yay. this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? I wonder if I should take the flies or leave them. Everyone was panicking about the flies. <sighs> what if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you... I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet... ...becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention... Humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit over dramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. Humanity survived worse. And you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be so sure? We were clueless just a moment ago. We've already just begun to understand what's going on. But you right. already know how to handle it. Yes, now I promise you we'll analyze everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. Oh, this seems... Ugh. them nothing more don't worry sir what some goddamn black horrors up there in the stratosphere and you say not to worry just look outside doctor she's not so Yeah, leave the door open. Oh, this is... Oh, I thought this thing was supposed to have more flight control than that. That wasn't good. Creatures! They're the ones doing- 
securing it. Well. Interrupt your uh, speech, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. <laughs> Shit. Uh, the fourth time, if I counter correctly. Yeah. But I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived and they already started their research into a cure, I wouldn't <laughs> count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Oh, you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Yeah, I don't really want to join them. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. No. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that won't be necessary. No. Oh shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people, alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I huh. saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to Let's know. See that weird graphical thing going on over there? How are you feeling? Well... Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a conduced lung begins. But at least... Yes. I'm alive. It's true. Ah. You know what, sir? That whole incident at the start of my journey. Yes, I remember. I got badly hurt back then, and I damaged the radio. And you lost your memory. The thing is, it wasn't the real cause. There were bushes there too, remember, sir? Just after the fall, the same black cloud of flies gathered above me. They subjected my brain to an electromagnetic field. 
Yes, now that's what you suspect. I know it. The memory of that event came back to me. So it was the flies all along, in the case of our crew as well. Yes. And that anti-mat in the tunnels and the whole convoy. It happened to all of them. So that's why we're seeing some of those flashes. Well, it's all starting to come together as far as what's happened to her memory and everything. Where is the exit? <laughs> I thought I would have to go downward. Jeez. I think he did a real number on that. That was a posh ride considering what we had before. Okay. It has to be... Well, I would have assumed it was... Hop down off of here. Maybe going across... No. I don't think I have to go back up there. Status? What's new? Well, nothing really. Well, At least nothing really, not sir. Last five seconds, oh. sir. Right. Little. Thank you. Little ravine right here. I'm just ready to go. Yep, hop down. Oh, I can slide? Hey, can you? Oh, you should have slid. That would have been cool. Excuse me? Yeah. That wasn't calls for alarm literally just watched the rover drive over here yes sir get out of pilot yes yes i just need a moment to think i need a moment to think about how the rover just drove us up here i'll report it no worries sir <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Let's make our way to the balloon, I guess. Centering, we're just going to gloss over the fact that apparently these rovers have... AI driving, and it knew exactly when I was coming back for it. Which, if that's the case, I'd rock one of these. Okay. I believe it was past these. <sighs> this mission tracks on so much. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Where? Oh, where? That balloon. So we were up there. Indeed. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to read that. Uh, let's continue here. Mm. My legs feel really heavy. 
Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. He wasn't, you certainly deserve wasn't it. Wasn't there? It was off the off the hook of one of these cliffs, though. If we look further back, is it around here? Should have paid more attention. Um, I was up there, and I looked. No, it was it was over that way. Well, it looks like maybe I can go up there and get a look around. Maybe. Ooh, there's a flag over here. Step at a time. Oh yeah, we can't get a pair. I use that as an observation point. Wait, we're behind the. Oh, these flags. What do these flags represent. Oh. Oh, I could go all the way around if I wanted to. Uh, apparently I can't. I was hoping I could use this as kind of a um, observation point, but I guess that's not going to happen. But it does look like eventually we're going to have to go up there, maybe. graphical thing was happening. This is also where... No, that's not where the balloon is. Wait, that rock is not complete. Am I not supposed to be over here? Did I find a place in the game I'm not supposed to see? Well, I think we have to come through here at some point. I don't know what's going on with the... with the graphic lighting right there, but... Okay. Either way, let's go ahead and get back to the rover since I can't use this as an observation point. Honestly, I wouldn't know how to get the rover up here anyway. Centering, I kind of just walked up here. I should move. Oh, Correct. There's no time. Ah, oh, can't get around there. Go back the way I came. Yes, yes, no, I know. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. climb over all kind of things, but I can't get over pebbles. Okay. We'll take the long way. Which I guess... I mean, the rover is going to have to come up here with me at some point. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. Ooh. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. I like how the banter is almost kind of a way of being like, hey, you're not focusing on uh, what you should be doing. Which, for me, is somebody who likes to explore an adventure, that's, you're going to be saying a lot of stuff. Alright, anyway, let's go back. Around this side. 
would have been over there. No, that would have been blocked out of my view, so I had to have been looking. It sounded like, like the title of some Renaissance painting. Renaissance. The fallen balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, what do I want from it for right here? I found the recorder. The fallen recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. Yep. And let's get it out. From the top. Let's see. Yeah, let's get over here into some the light. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. Okay. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Oh. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many yeah. of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. But nothing of too much note. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. And they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. So everybody's left. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. So I guess he was right. They just abandoned everybody. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. It captured the moment I entered the base. Oh. I thought that was like someone else. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. No, no, no. Wait. You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. Yes. I I'm not crazy. I saw him. I never suggested you were. But nevertheless, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Hasna. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? 
I was going to say, earlier you kind of made it seem like she was crazy when she said she saw silhouettes. I think he's near the base. Charging by the last slide. The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Oh. Well, that's fun. Okay. You know, Doctor, decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know Ooh, that. Load in. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. And why do you insist on seeking them out? Hmm. Well, that's a fine question, Doctor. I feel like I have to do it. Oh! Oh, the probe. The probe again. It's right near the base, within range of the control center. Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, Mania. what will it be, Doctor? Well, first off... And this is where it looks like the lion guy check was. I'll records. If I don't have to go out of my way to do so. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the slope for the hideout, but... Let's find... Oh, we don't have to because he's coming right back here, okay. This place is always kind of laggy a little bit. Frame race for a frame was not frame race we're going down, but it's like see right there that lag when I turn real fast, almost like load in. Um, is this the one that had something in it? I think that I could use for the drone. No. Oh, those cannons make me a little nervous now. Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Yeah, Doc. Thank you. Be calm, dude. I'm just trying to access some drone stuff. Uh... Okay. Yeah, is this it? No, uh, not that one. Can't get her to turn the thing anymore. Okay. Yes, sir. Everything's Try that again. Yes, yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something, I'll report it. No worries, sir. Oh, like seriously, dude. Just give me a moment. Yeah, there's no worry you're not turning anything anymore. Last time I did this, it bugged out. When I tried to look through the thing. But it's also not showing up anything on the screen, so... Uh, unless... Did I have to look through it before? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I do have to pilot it down. So five, it's not it. Okay. Four is 
not it. Three. <sighs> this mission drags on so much. Uh -huh. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. The three. We'll get it off this landing pad. Right, let's put it over here. Why not? There we go. It's good enough for that one. Two. Right. There we go. Let's meet this probe. So yeah, we were just glitched out last time. There's my landing spot. <laughs> the drone that I just threw over there apparently has just vanished. Oh wait, can I not put it there? Oh, they have assigned landing spots. Put it down. Yeah. Okay. And I got an achievement. I am a drone pilot. Alright, let's go out here and take a look. Ooh. It's a wonderful planet. There's the other drone that I had thrown to the side. Okay. Let's see what it sees. I'm looking at the slides. So just the people and the convoy. The actual metal bushes. Yep. in all its glory both fascinating and terrifying at the same time Most the people definitely. don't stand a chance the cloud caught up to them and killed uh, no not that it didn't kill anyone but neutralize them all which yeah. is even worse than death yeah, that's about the best place to look that probe managed to evacuate, waited still until I approached it. <laughs> Good probe. Yep, it's like a person. Oh, it watched it chase. We know what happened after. Yep. Okay, there it's watching me get to the balloon. Let's go over here and go to the the hideout. I'm gonna take my rover over there because why not? Should be able to just to back straight up, no problem. I've been chilling in a rover this whole time. How can my legs be heavy? <sighs> Unless you're just talking oxygen deprivation, then well, that's a different story. Now your legs should be feeling heavy. Oh, 
Let's see what we got here in this hideout. Oh, there's a click button. I was like, why can't I climb normally? I had a feeling, yeah, I was like, she's gonna slip or something. I'm, uh, I'm alright. I'm almost there. That is the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you. With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will. Find the man. Ugh. Is that view? It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. Oh. Oh, shit. Ooh. What? I found him. Well, now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Jasna, what is it? Why is it too late? Jasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... You. What have you done? Oh. Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. It's this planet. I'm trapped here too. Get up. <sighs> so much for talking. Jasna, don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. This isn't good, is it? I mean, I guess I'm supposed to follow. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? Just keep your mouth shut. For your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors. Which is good yeah. in theory. Well, this isn't good. Wait, don't move. He didn't even spare the Arctan. Got some nerve to unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. Gee, jeez. Don't move. Don't turn around. Yeah, you're, uh... I don't want to look. I'll probably shoot if I do. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades, but you have to understand. I don't know what you want with us. You will answer to the Astrogator. He will determine whether there's room for understanding. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. He's what a jerk. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. <laughs> yes, no doesn't know when to not talk. Oh, has to be away. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling on about? You have a death wish? Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. Do you understand? Uh huh. Good, good. Is there anyone else? Uh -uh. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? 
Something about his appearance, maybe. <sighs> Start, damn it. Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Legs? Torso? Uh-huh. When it rains, it pours, huh? It's about his torso? Mm -mm. Must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... Legs? Torso? No, helmet. Come on. Head. It's about his head? What could be so unusual? Uh, I don't suppose you can see much since he has his helmet on? No. Really? Yeah, no, no helmet. helmet. Uh -huh. That's why I can hear him so clearly. It's if he's been without it for a long time, with these levels of oxygen and methane, he must be a lunatic. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. You could ask. Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yes, really? Really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. Just now, I'm losing you. The signal is getting weaker. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Uh -huh. Get in. To. Go! Yes, no, I'm here. Uh? I'll do everything in my... Ugh. Instantaneous. Lost communication. <gasps> this guy has no manners whatsoever. Like the doctor said, if he's been without his helmet for a long time, then... He's clearly not in his right mind at all. Although this cable going to... Whatever. Kinda concerns me unless they're using it to run power or something. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. 
Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. I like to tell him some things. And he objected so much. This caveman child trying to come look at me for. Are you a stream? You mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. Uh, Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the oh, mission. She's thinking about jumping. 1300 in hours. 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup. Over and out. <laughs> hey, Milos. I hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. Hmm. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. So, what now? Shall we keep quiet while admiring the ceiling? So far, you're not very good at being quiet, let alone keeping it up. Well, I heard you broadcasting, Rahitra. You have no idea what to do with me, do you? <clears throat> I can gag you for a start. <clears throat> do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. You've been camping here long? Are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm, seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Huh. Wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. You finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. Our actual mission was coming to an end. We were on our way back when intelligence intercepted information about your ship. Did they really send you to spy on us? 
You could say so. We were supposed to seize this opportunity to surpass your research. <laughs> then they led you on a wild goose chase. We didn't even have any research plan. We landed due to a malfunction in the main core. The work dragged on for so long, the scientists were given permission to study the planet. But they couldn't sit still in one damn place. That's all. <gasps> Fuck. Nothing adds up. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you? Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... not many. I told you, we're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, a cyberneticist, a golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. <laughs> then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Oh, yeah. Second in rank to Astrogator. What happened to his mind is tragic. Knowledge was everything to him. So, he lost... Everything? Yes. Kovel, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. What a shame. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. Or anything? Hey, you treated me. Fine. Let me tell you something. Something you won't like. Oh, I'm listening. My blaster doesn't work. I destroyed its power supply myself. <laughs> what? I don't want to kill anyone ever again. I'd rather not remember it. You know. So. You've killed before. This one time. One too many. Well. Sounds like he didn't. When was the last was time forced to the drink? The last time. I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but treated. Go ahead. Must be thirsty after everything you've been through. He doesn't seem like a bad guy per se. Oh, I needed that. Me too. Been silent for nearly two whole seconds. Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. Do as follows. I'll give that astrogator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then I'll read your journal. And in the meantime, you will get some rest. Been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want. Well, it turns out he's seemingly not such a bad guy. Just been under some incredibly <sighs> bad stuff.
Rahitra, you don't mind if I play with your probe? Well, no answer is also an answer. No. Rahitra, are you sleeping? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, okay, take it easy. Anything cool to see around here? Oh, I'm too far away. Oh, there's some of the machinery. Or a vehicle. Oh man, this thing does not have any range, does it? Let me go in here. Yep. I'm not even sure if there's anything out here for me to look at. If I'm lower, the signal lasts better. It's theory. Yeah, static starting to build. anything else for me to really find she's just killing time I think just playing around all right the antenna must be outside How did you get here? The Commonwealth? What are you doing here? <sighs> Come on, stop pulling my leg. It's not funny, Rahitra. <laughs> if anyone's joking around here... Hang on. How do you know my name? For crying out loud, we met yesterday. You really don't remember. I... I'm not. What do you mean? Start making sense. I, I didn't mess with your head, Rahitra. It's the cloud. It must have affected you. Damaged your memory somehow. That... Huh, explains a lot, actually. What cloud? You were supposed to talk sense, but it's only getting worse. Listen, I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow... Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I... I'll wait some more. Hmm. Huh. The bus just staring at me, I think. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. 
Hey, hey, it's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna, I have a favor to ask. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. I'm worried he's not back yet. Don't worry. I was thinking the same thing. I'll leave right now. And you wait here with the guys. Thank you. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. Mm. Go ahead. I know it looks far from inviting, but trust me. Good luck, Doc. Shit. That was... He was... I don't know. I gotta tell Novik everything. Whoa. That is one big pile. Yeah. Judging by that, it's been a while. through here there's a light on this side wait what well that's a deep hole so I don't think we should jump down into there all right there we are looks like we can go down here no oh, there we go that wasn't too bad. Alright, there's the rover. We finally got to where we need to be. Face, come in. Yes, sir. Good to hear from you. I admit that man's message fell short of reassuring me. Of those reinforcements he spoke of arrived, I tried to intercept their response to no avail. Nothing like that happened. There's something off with those people, Astrogator. I mean, more than I expected. Are you talking about reinforcements, or have you met anyone else? There were two more men with him. Completely wiped out. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Rahitra, on the other hand. Yes, Doctor? Beneath the rough exterior, he's... he's just a confused man. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he didn't remember me this morning. Has he met the cloud? Apparently. Oh, I haven't told you the most important thing. Condor's here. Condor? Yes. HQ messed everything up. It was Condor that was flying to Regis Three, Not the Invincible. And that was some time ago. Huh. Well, right on that cliffhanger, we have been at this for a little bit past two and a half hours, give or take with some editing. So that said, we're going to end it here, and in episode 3 we'll pick it back up and figure out exactly what's happening as the story is starting to get deeper. So that said, I do thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Later! Later!